Hey, it's Kevin Tofel with Giga Home, and I'm here with my 13-year-old son, Tyler. Tyler, yes. You and I last did a video with the iPad review way back a year ago. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, because I ran a race today in the wind at Valley Forge National Park, and I'm exhausted, I've decided to let you kind of do the review of the newest phone that we just got from T-Mobile, which is what? The Galaxy. The what? The Sidekick 4G. The Sidekick 4G. And I know why you said Galaxy, because, to be honest, a lot of the internals of this device are the same as the Samsung Galaxy S, uh, which is actually surprising to me. It was last year's hot phone for Samsung. So, um, so currently you carry what? This? iPhone 4. Yes. iPhone 4, yeah. It's cracked. It's cracked. We'll get into that in a second. Mm. And for the last two days, you've been using the Sidekick 4G. Yeah. Um, what do you think, in general? Um... You like it or not? I do like it. Okay. And with all phones, it, comparing two phones, there are some things better and some things worse. The pros and cons of all phones mm -hmm. over other phones. Um, well, what's a pro uh, compared to what you've been using? What do you like about the 4G over your iPhone? The notification system. <laughs> That's an Android thing. Yeah, I've, I've been there, my friend. I, I agree yeah. on that one, yeah. Um, the notifications are better on Android. I would agree with you. What about the phone itself, like the hardware? Because it is very different. Um, I, I think I like the hardware a lot better with the hardware keyboard mm -hmm. over the software keyboard. Show me the keyboard. Um, okay. I do like it better than the software keyboard on the iPhone. Mm -hmm. You like how it flips out, the little screen? Yeah. Yeah, you just kind of flip it and it pops up. Here, show them how that works. It's like, don't even have to try, it just kind of pops up. But yep. it doesn't pop up by itself. Nope. You do need to give it a little bit, but mm. you don't have to like... Push too hard. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even do it that way. Sure. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So you got five rows of keys and you can bang out texts and whatnot pretty quickly? Like, yeah. Super fast? Faster than on your iPhone? A lot faster. A lot faster. Okay. Um, how about the phone performance itself compared to, say, your iPhone in general? You mean like the browser and everything? Just, yeah, in general. Is it a slow phone? Is it a fast phone? What? Um. It's medium. That's fair. Go ahead. Um, it. I don't. I don't really know how to say it, but. Um, is it fast enough for what you need it to do? Yes, it d definitely is. But I mean, it. Mm -hmm. Um, we do. We're not in a four G area at all. Correct. So right now it's pretty slow. But. We did do a test and a few tests in 4G areas, and it was really good 4G speeds. And well, yeah, um, I think we were looking at like six uh, megabits per second down, and that was in a marginal area. And I know you don't get that on your iPhone, at least not where we do. Some people may because it all depends on your coverage area. AT&T has also HSPA Plus with some faster speeds, but T-Mobile their network comes really close to our house here, so we get we get 4G speeds as soon as we go into town, right? Yeah. Right, see, so what else? You got um, four hardware buttons at the corners of that? Yeah, it, the, it's very weird, the placement of them, though. The home button is at the top, mm -hmm. which is, like, weird. I agree with you. As an Android user, I agree with you. I keep going to the bottom left, and it's, it's up on the top right, so I kind of yeah. goof it up. Bottom left is the back, and the bottom right is... You got your jump key, right? Yeah, the jump key, like, you can assign different things, so, like... Shortcuts. Yeah, so I have it set, if I say jump... E, it goes right to my email, or like jump C is contacts, and you can assign different things and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and they have the little roller ball. Right, they have a little touch wheel kind of thing at the bottom. Yep, yep. So, so let me go back to the very beginning because you almost said Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, last year Samsung came out with the Galaxy S and had a one gigahertz processor, um, the high resolution 800 by 480 screen. Um, what else? What else? Absolutely. Basically, all the same internals are in this phone, and this is $99 after I think a $50 rebate and with a two year plan. Um, so, you're kind of getting like Samsung's best hardware from last year for $99 with the hardware keyboard and the slide out. Now, two things that maybe you don't care about, but some people might they kind of skimped on the camera a little. It's not the same high quality, it's a three megapixel camera. Does but that bother you? I don't know. Not really, because for me, I just need um, a camera that I can take pictures with. Like, I mean, it didn't need to be the insane, highly crazy camera like it has on this. Mm -hmm. um, 
I just need a camera that can take pictures, really, so right. it's not bother me at all. Right. And the other thing is, remember when we had the Samsung, the last 4G phone we had, and you were looking at Inception, the video? Oh. Yeah, and the colors just popped? Okay, you can still watch that HD YouTube video on here. This can handle that, no problem. But the screen itself is not the same type of screen, so the colors don't pop as much. The viewing angle might not be as good. But again, you're 13. Do you care about that? I don't. I doubt it. Most kids your age probably don't care. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. You just like the, the little the, the keyboard. Because let's think about it. What do you do most with your phone? Even with your iPhone, what do you do most? Texting. Texting, exactly. You probably do about, mm, last I checked, it was like 6,000 text messages a month. I don't know. I haven't checked lately. We're not going to go there right now. All I know is you have been a texting monster with that thing. It just, you just pound them out. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. There's also something else on there that we couldn't test because I don't think it's working just yet. Once the phone is available for sale, it will be. It's called Cloud Text. I saw that on here. I didn't go to it yet. Okay, let me explain what it is and you tell me if you think it's cool or not. With Cloud Text, which is on the Sidekick 4G, you can start your text message conversation on the phone, but then you can move over to cloudtext.sidekick.com, uh, I think it is, and the whole conversation with you and your friends will be there on the web, and you can just keep texting over the web. Mm. So, ooh, yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, I mean... We didn't try it because it's not up and running yet, but... Yeah, because, I mean, like, if you're just, like, sitting around at home and texting, I mean, yes. this is a great keyboard, but obviously a real computer keyboard would be better. Mm -hmm. I would agree. I would agree. It all depends on where you are when you need to be texting, right? Yeah. So, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Battery life? How's the battery been for you compared to your iPhone 4? It, um, it la this lasts like all day and like more. I mean, like, I'll probably go like a day and a half before I need to charge it. Okay. It, that's what it seems like to me. I don't know. I haven't tried It's to only do been this. two days. Yeah, that's I've true. tried to do that. Your, your iPhone does not seem to last as long in terms of the battery. And you're doing the same kind of things with the two phones, at least you did for the past two days. But there's one thing you haven't been doing. You used to do a lot of apps on your iPhone. And I think you said you only installed like five apps so far? Yeah, but I've been playing them a lot. You've been playing them a lot. And the battery's still hanging in there? Yep. Okay. It's, it's like four o'clock now and it's still got like halfway battery. And I used to be at like halfway by like 11 some days, 11 in the morning. What are you doing with your phone when you're going through the battery? Do I don't that. know, but it's just good, like, uh, stupid. No, I'm just messing with it. What do you think about, I, I kind of think it's a little bit big. I mean, I'm going to hold this up close to the camera for a second. Um, it's, it's a little bit thicker because you've got that, that keyboard, right? And obviously the iPhone 4 is one of the thinnest phones around. Do you find the size, is it too bulky for you? Mm, no, it's like... It's kind of bulky, but I mean, it's not too bulky that it's, like, mm -hmm. annoying. Yeah. Um. You like flipping that thing, don't you? It's Almost as much as my little screen going off like a TV on my Android 2.3 device. Yeah. I, yeah, you don't get that yet. I don't know if they're going to add that or not, but... Um, you find it easy to get around because that's Android with a little bit of a skin on top, like these these funky menus that are all angled and hip and cool and whatnot. Yeah, like, can I go up to close to the camera? Yeah, go ahead. How, um... See if you can show it real close. Well, not real, there you go. Three, right. and how everything's so, all angled and everything. Here, hit your power button. There you go. Um, can you unlock it? There you go. And stuff's on the side, it's all sideways. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's not too annoying. Right. Although there's a lot of angles, with everything's yeah. like at like an angle. Right, right. They kind of jazzed it up a little bit. So. It doesn't bother me at all, though. How about Android apps? Like we said, you installed five. I mean, you used to have pages of apps here. Um, I mean, are there apps on uh, you wish you had on Android that you don't? Yes, the new Atari app on uh, iOS. Yeah. I do like that. Okay. But, okay. but you got, what did you add? You had Angry Birds, what else? Stupid Zombies. Stupid Zombies, you know, <laughs> everyday stuff. Yeah. Are there, is there a smart zombies game? Or is that an in-app purchase that you add them to make them smarter? Maybe. No, I doubt. What an idea though, huh? 99 yeah. bucks, you can make the zombies smarter. Anyway, 99 bucks? Or 99 oh, cents. <laughs> 99 cents. Um, how about, well you played Angry Birds on both. Yeah. How about performance-wise? How does this Sidekick 4G handle Angry Birds? Well, 
I often see like on the iOS, it freezes up for a second and then it continues and it's like farther ahead from where it was. So it often freezes up for a second. Um, over the past two days, I have not run into any cases where this has frozen up. Only, well, no, that's not true. Only one. Mm -hmm. One case where it has frozen up for like a split second and then went back to where it was. Um, and even though this has better res resolution and more pixels and everything, for some reason to me, this just looks better on this. Hmm. I, I don't know why, it just does. They're about the same size, too, the screens, so that's interesting. Um, how about the fact that that's pretty much all plastic, this is all metal and glass. Does that bother you that it's plastic? Because no. you skate a lot, you're on your skateboard, and as a result of that, I'm just going to show this off. As a result of that, maybe you can see the, the cracks in the iPhone there, I don't know if you can, but this whole thing is just, it's just all cracked. Yeah, there you go, you can probably see it there. Um, no, I made it, 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 it wasn't happened. your fault, it's cool, I'm, I'm not making a big deal of that. I'm just saying that that is probably far more, uh, less breakable, as opposed to this, yes? Yes, yeah. but let's okay. find out. <laughs> no, let's not find out, or we'll get more review phones. Um, so, let me ask you this, because you're 13, all your friends have phones, or most of them do. Um, you see a lot of iPhones, do you see a lot of Android phones, or just feature phones? Um, well, there's like, I don't, like, I'm just going to guess like a thousand kids in my school, maybe. Hmm. Probably more than that, but, um, there's like a hundred kids that have iPhones. No, not a hundred, but... Quite a few kids have iPhones okay. at our school. Um, see any Android phones there? I do see Android phones, but not as much as the iPhone. Right. And then, um, because a lot of people have these weird phones that I've never even heard of. Like, I, I just don't even know what they are, but they're apparently smartphones. We need to talk then. Oh. You should know every single phone. That's going to be our assignment for tonight, but that's another issue. Let me, let me rephrase this question though. Do you think, knowing what your friends do with their phones, they would like a Psychic 4G. Yeah. Why do you think so? Because it's um, well, it a keyboard. Just, yeah, it just has a like, really great keyboard. Mm -hmm. Um. And it also, the Android market so it has a ton of apps that people would play. Mm -hmm. There's apps for like, everything. Okay. So I have to give this back after the review. If you could keep one or the other, your iPhone, obviously not the crash. One, we can always fix that. Or the Psychic 4G, which do you think you would use more? Tough call? I think this one by a little bit. Wow, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. But you know what? You're the right age for the sidekick, you know? it's It's got the features that you want because you do text messaging mostly. You use the web a little bit. You use apps. Um, you do YouTube video. So, yeah, I mean, I get it. I do. I get it. Um, okay, where are you going? Get going, yeah. yeah. Alright, well, unfortunately, you can't have that Sidekick 4G unless you decide you want to get rid of this cracked thing and uh, switch from AT&T to T-Mobile. Um, that was the thing I told the T-Mobile folks. I said, you know what? This is, I really like the phone. I mean, heck, I could even use it. It's, honestly, it's pretty decent. Um, but the problem may be the data plans because it can get expensive. Right? And you have to have a data plan with us, because just like any other Android phone. They do have their $10 a month data plan, I think it's 250 megabytes. I haven't checked your usage on this. We got you the 2 gig, but we could go to the 200, 200 meg for, for uh, 15 bucks. But for 10 bucks, that's actually reasonable. So, you know, you have to have voice, obviously, as well. You have to have your voice calls, so. Alright, anything else you want to say about that before we wrap it up? Um... Is that surfing the web? I don't think so. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. All right. So you like it? I do. Gets a thumbs up by you? Very much. All right. Well, that's two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Whoa. Three cool. If I had three. three. Well, you don't have three. I can, we can do three. There you go. Three thumbs up <laughs> from Team Tofu. Very good. Cool. All right. Thanks, dude. Anytime.